Hello and welcome to the We Pay For Your Floor podcast. My name is Phil. I am Andy. And I'm Sarah. And today we will be talking about how milky is your slozenge? Uh, oh, of course. A slozenge classic. had to return at some point. A classic. For those of you who don't know, slozenge is a made up word that Phil gaslighted me over for ages. You have no evidence of this, <laughs> apart from the recorded details that we have on previous episodes that do not <laughs> exist, do not exist at all. Wait, was it Slotting you gaslighted me with? No, it was another one, wasn't it? It wasn't. It was Bow Shaggles. I don't know what you mean. You gaslighted me over Bow Shaggles. We certainly no, haven't discussed this previously either. No, Slotting, she just wouldn't tell me what it meant, even uh, though it meant absolutely nothing. Right, Bow okay. Shaggles is what you gaslighted me with. Yeah. Because he convinced me that like, he hadn't said it and I just made it up and then months later said, by the way, I did say Bow Shaggles and I wanted to punch him in the face. Love. Love. That's what we're talking about today. <laughs> we'll get to this point soon. Yeah. But With Phil, be- not even Craig. No, it's just Phil. <laughs> but before that... Yeah. How is your floor? To give you my completely natural and unplanned response. Uh, still attached to your ceiling. <laughs> Worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> and shot down. <laughs> I'm glad you start making a note of potential answers though, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Phil dragging Sarah for Phil. I don't want to drag her, Phil. <laughs> Barely want to drag yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I'm going to miss discussing your floor for a while. Oh, yeah, we're not going to talk about my floor for a while. At least a little bit. Yeah. But, but we'll but still talk about your vagina. Oh, we'll still on a regular basis. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be our friendship if we did. <laughs> you are still receiving the newsletter every week, aren't you? <laughs> I thumb through them now and then. <laughs> Womb weekly. Womb we weekly! <laughs> The dripping forecast. Yeah! <laughs> 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 Worth the way. Yeah, <laughs> 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 oh, what a start! No! What a start! Do you mean the daily discharge? Hey! Oh! <laughs> oh! You are you delaying the open occasion, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? It's taken an entire series, but we have actually struck gold. <laughs> <laughs> the daily We're done. That's it now. Thanks for listening. Goodbye. Tired. Oh God. But no. Um. For those of you who are aware, which will be all of you, because it's only been discussed between the three of us. All ten of our viewers. <laughs> all ten of our viewers. Uh, this is going to be the final episode of this season of uh, We Pay for Your Floor, mainly just because we want to give Paul Phil a break because he edits all of these, and since the end of March we've had an episode out nearly every single week, mm. apart mm. from the three occasions where we missed a week. Mm. But even then, there were there were only like a week gap between them. So for the most part, we stuck with a weekly schedule. And I have food now, master. <laughs> <laughs> I cook for you on a regular basis. Aww. Don't you mislead our viewers into thinking otherwise. Oh. Good sir. Good sir. Well, yeah, at least you know your place. <laughs> <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> splendid. Anyway, so yeah, uh, we will be taking uh, roughly a month off after this episode, uh, just to give Phil a bit of a break. Uh, but we'll be back for season two uh, oh, sometime around wait, Halloween, wait, if whoa, not a little bit wait, later. Whoa, whoa, no. Wait, what? What? I thought it was free. <laughs> no. no. Uh, never free. You see? Fine line in the contract. Oh, for no one sake. ever reads the fine print. Right. So we've got to do this shit all over again. <laughs> This shit is very over fun and to do. over and over again. again. No, oh. it's not Christmas yet. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so yes, to kick us off, to kick. Ugh, words. <laughs> I'll kick you. Uh, so first of all, we do have a special guest for this, the final episode of the series, and that would be Sarah's pet hedgehog Petunia, oh. who is currently, I think, snuggled up in her, in her. Are you gonna fuck? Petunia. I just wanted to make the fuss happen. She's kicking the microphone. Oh, She'll probably start eating it in a moment, thinking it's a candle. 
Yeah, Sarah's hedgehog has a weird addiction to candle wax and bicarbonate of soda we've discovered. No, Mum. No, no. Mum, I fuss. Please put me back, I was comfortable. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. But yes, we are joined by Sarah's adorable hedgehog Petunia. Uh, and yeah, uh, speaking of Sarah, I believe you're you're starting us off this episode yes, formally. I have, and it's actually um, links in quite well. Um, because uh, my subject today is, um, what do you miss? Him. Happiness. All the time. Uh, I've tried, but I've got a terrible aim. <laughs> What do you miss? What are the things that you miss that you wish? I thought you were asking here? Petunia then. What do you miss, Petunia? <laughs> Quiet nights in with no woman squeaking your booty. <laughs> that's that's what I miss. I miss <laughs> quiet nights in with no human squeaking my booty. Squeaking. <laughs> yeah. I don't Squeak. don't touch me. <laughs> hey, squeeze your face. No. What, what do you miss? What do you miss? Uh, I miss being happy. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the end. There that's we go. It, Done. That's it, yeah. No, um, I. I miss quiet. Yeah, you probably do. <laughs> you know, genuinely serious answer. I yes. miss. I miss Nottingham quite a lot. Do you really? Yeah. Oh, what's a, what is about it that? I loved worse? living down there. It was no nice one's stopping to be... you from moving back. <laughs> Um, it was just, it's a gorgeous city, mm, maybe, maybe it's because I was living in the city centre, there was a lot to do and mm. it was all like very close by. It was far enough away from my family where that I could have independence, but close enough to where if I needed to come back, mm. I could. Mm. Um, and whilst like, the, the same still applies here, um, there's not as much to do around here because you know we're on the very outskirts of Sheffield. Yeah. Um, and just, I have a lot of very fond memories of living in oh, in Nottingham, uh, which I do I do miss it quite a lot. We're going back on Monday for the Joe Black show, and I can't wait because oh, it's the first time I've been to Nottingham in like nearly four years. Really? Wow. Excuse me. And oh. I suppose one thing in Nottingham's favour, they have the Goose Fair. They do have the Goose Fair every year. Goose That's genuinely what it's and called. Like, is it a talent show for geese or? It's j literally, it's just a fun fair that happens every year, and for some reason it's called the Goose Fair. Oh. I don't know why, but it's a thing I'm, that happens I'm usually every it's October. I some sort of thing. ancient traditional thing oh. where the, they probably had geese involved at some point. Mm. No, it's just, it's just like. But now the goose have flown the coop. Oh, uh -huh. It's like you know those oh, travelling well. like, um, <laughs> like. Uh, fun fairs you get that come around here like with the rides that they can pack up and stuff. Mm. It's basically like one of those but it's like an annual thing in Nottingham and it's like specifically for just the city. Yeah. Um, it's really, uh, I think the both times that it happened when I was living there, I think it happened uh, on the field by where I went to uni actually. Oh right, um, yeah. But no, that it it's was very, very small fun. It's quite Nottingham then, or is no, it? it's quite big. Is it? And, you're, and it is Nottingham as in like Oh no, I think, am I thinking I think Nottingham City Centre is bigger than Sheffield City Centre. Robin, yeah. Ro Robin, 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 Robin. Um, Robin Hood, sh um, Nottingham, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, just checking, I'm just checking. I played in Nottingham Castle, there's a statue of him right there. <laughs> Do you not remember Robin? You used to, Rich from, Rich I, from, I, Rich I, from the Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> I, I love rich. all the different roles you're giving Robin Williams throughout <laughs> this series. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! It's all the information is. He was a he was an acclaimed <laughs> singer a few weeks ago. <laughs> oh yeah, he was. No, I miss I miss not another thing I miss, and I don't miss the thing itself. It's more I miss how simple life was. Mm -hmm. I kind of miss school. Yeah. I miss how simple life was back. And I know at the time you think, oh god, I've got homework to do. Got like six hours of school. I've I've got six hours of school, I've got six more work hours. I need to do. Now, that is so trivial. Yeah. If I could go back to school with the mindset I have now, it'd be so much easier. So I'd be like, right, okay, stop procrastinating that half an hour of maths homework you've got to do, because yeah. it's nothing compared to being an adult, so get it done yeah. and enjoy your life while you've got it. Damn right. Uh, I do, I miss, I, d I definitely miss the sort of vibe and the, the, um, j just how simple things were back then mm. and I miss like having all I mean granted it's still somewhat the same obviously you're all really close by mm. and most of my other friends that but I do see in person <laughs> are you know aren't like hours away yeah some of them are mm. but most a lot of them are still somewhat close by but I miss uh living in a time where 
all of my friends were like a ten minute walk away. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The only, I think the thing that I would the thing is though if I did go back to them what I would miss is Phil because like you came into my life right oh, yeah. at the end of that. We're going again to the land before Phil. The <laughs> land before <laughs> Phil. Yeah. So what about you, Phil? Um. I'll be the, uh, while you were talking about school, one thing came to mind, which for some reason I was actually thinking about earlier today, mm. while I was sitting ignoring customers <laughs> and their inane drivel. Yes. Um, there's a stretch of the River Tees mm. that flows through Barnard Castle, and it's just a place that's always been very pretty and mm. nice and just very relaxing. It's my favourite place. Mm -hmm. E even Disney World can't fucking oh. beat this lovely. There's a, a bit where, when I explain this next part, you'll possibly understand. Okay. Um, you're just surrounded by uh, woods, uh, there's a farmer's field behind you, and then you've got this massive drop into the river below. Right. And you are basically looking over the expanse across the river where a former rail viaduct used to be. Oh, okay. Uh, so it's this massive stone and, well, used to be stone and steel structure um, that trains used to run across. Mm. Um, and now it's just the, the end points of the bridge that are attached to the main land. But you've still got these massive arches that reach fucking way up into the sky because they go from pretty much riverbed level mm. right up to like the top of this bank. Yeah. Uh, so you've got a, a few arches that still exist mm. um, on both sides. Uh, one side's a little more dilapidated than the other, which makes it easier to get around. Yeah. But also a little bit more dangerous to get around. Yeah, but that's the thrill uh, of it, But that, it, was, that, that yeah. was kind of fun. Uh, but the safer side is also a good point where um, you can just, if you hop the wall, yeah. uh, you can just essentially camp out there. Uh, there's always a scorched bit of earth there where people have yeah. set off campfires yeah. and just had a, a marvellous time. Yeah. That is the first time, I think it was like half twelve, one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Uh, that's the first time I ever saw the galaxy. Wow! Because the, the sky was so clear and yeah. so dark because you're in the middle of nowhere. I could see you were like out in the middle of nowhere, weren't you? It was, it was very, very pretty. Oh, it, it's still there then, I'm assuming. Oh yeah, it's, yeah. it's still there, unless the, unless the farmer's gone mad with power. <laughs> um, but there's also a bit, this was the specific thing I was thinking of earlier today, was because whenever I used to go up there, I'd normally go with the dog, and mm. he'd go running through the forest, walking, uh, mainly him running, and then me running after him going, where the fuck are you going? Path this way. <laughs> That's a shrub. No, uh, fucking. Hell. I'm not brushing you when we get back in. <laughs> um, but for some reason, when I was a much more athletic and <laughs> young fella, willing to move, nubile. <laughs> ooh. <laughs> um, there was this one particular point where I'd always come past it and I'd always wanted to do this. Yeah. But I only actually did it a few Can times. Can we talk about the suicide again, Phil? My <laughs> suicide? Yes, my multiple <laughs> suicides. Fuck! Okay, <laughs> I had to bring the turn That down got dark point. quickly. Because, as, as we know, I'm on my fifth life now. <laughs> Sorry, go on, Phil. Um, but there's this bit where there'd be these large stone steps going up from riverbed level yeah. up to a field okay um and if you were coming back down the steps for some reason the wall uh, that runs along the riverside of the steps doesn't go up in a sort of diagonal pattern like you'd assume a staircase would mm. it's just massive rectangle <laughs> right. then another massive rectangle slightly right. further back okay right <laughs> so yeah like so you have to so there's like this big a uh, gap yeah. in like the sort of wall yeah. to your side uh, with these stairs going up and then you just got cliff face next to you. Yeah. Um, but there was lots of quite old, quite large trees hanging over this 
staircase on this path mm. because it's quite an old woody area and if you're coming back to go down the steps mm. you can either be a normal person and go down the steps yes. or you can do what I did a few times and I never felt so fucking cool in my life since right. I've done this go on. Um, you can run along the top of the uh, the, the upper stone yeah, rectangle yeah. block thing yeah. uh, instead of going down the steps jump swing on a uh, rather sturdy branch oh my god and then land on the <gasps> lower blo a block that is, that and is then on you go still. that is badass Phil yeah. I, I would have shot myself watching you do that let alone uh, oh I, I shot myself many a times just testing if the branch was sturdy <laughs> did you, did, every time that you did it did, did you not fall off and you were okay oh no, well, I was fine I, I only did it like maybe two or three times yeah, and I, I thought about it 500 <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really cool Yeah. what about you Sarah, what do you miss? just so we don't want a tangent about <laughs> a river for like 20 minutes No. Um, you I, did ask me a question I, I, no, I think it was, it was a perfectly valid yeah, answer very thank you very much I, I actually, I've never heard that story I enjoyed that story no one's heard that story because it goes on for half an hour <laughs> no, I enjoyed that's it that's taken me to that place by the way, it's very cool oh nice I thought you said taking me in that place then. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> no. a story for another day. That's a different day. Um, I, I'm going to sound like an old person, but I miss when things were cheaper. Ah, we're going back to the Freddos. Uh, I do miss a 50 pence Freddo, not one pound. Tell you what, day. blame the Tories. I, I blame, I blame. I miss a 10p Freddo. 5p Freddo. 5p, oh, in fact, yeah, they were 10p, weren't they? Right. I, I miss when things were cheaper. I miss, I wasn't even there, but I miss when a house was only 1,200. <laughs> I think my parents bought the house that we're in now for like 40 odd thousand. Damn. Um, yeah, and the house that we have, bearing in mind it's like three bedrooms. That's a deposit, isn't it? Uh, yeah, basically, <laughs> and that's a deposit now. But yeah, I miss when things were cheaper. I miss like being able to go to the one pound shop and everything actually being a pound. Yeah, so everything there isn't a pound. So this is yeah. two, this is, uh, this is a tenner. Why? It's pound land. land. Yeah, I miss things being cheaper. No, no. Understandable. Oh, I sound old. I miss um, not wanting uh, anti wrinkle cream. <laughs> <laughs> I miss. You I miss, miss not looking for grey. I miss smiling and not having fucking crow's feet all down one side <laughs> of my face. I noticed the other day that I have um, these weird dimples that, that <laughs> actually. Smile lines. Well, they're like smile lines, but you know when I. With the little things. Oh, like you. cute though. Yeah, but then when I smile, it's like. They highlight your pinchies. My pinchies? Your pinchies! No, I just look old as folk. Yeah. I miss being young. <laughs> I think we all I do. I miss, I miss not I'm saying that well, I'm 25. I miss but, not you know. is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> There's always online multiplayer games this where you can be true. whoever you wish. This is true. This is true. That I, I don't miss not having technology. No, that makes sense. Yeah, I you don't miss not having it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sense, if that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm the one who studied English, and I'm still fucking struggling. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's a very valid yeah. answer. Yep. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Phil, you you want a game for us? I do. My it's little chickadees gather round. No drawing involved in this one, I'm afraid. Oh, okay. It shouldn't take us an hour. <laughs> but. Uh, in the spirit of one of my favourite memories of this series gone, mm -hmm. uh, where Andrew uh, challenged us to some uh, films, I believe it was. Spoiler alert, that's on my list, because that was amazing, that was so fun. <laughs> um, and some of them were real, and oh, some of yeah. them, like the, the van and the Karen nun. The nun and the Karen oh <laughs> yeah, the van <laughs> and the Karen <laughs> I forgot that was how you put it. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, not so real. <laughs> so I've gone with TV shows. Oh, okay. Uh, I've got a list of uh, nine. I thought I'd done an even number. Uh, but I've got a list of nine. Um, and I'm going to put it to you as to whether these are real or fake. Okay. Ooh, um, really? So the first why one... Why the fat? Why the, oh, why the fat? <laughs> first one we'll go with is... Life less meaningless. Oh, that's, that's a TV real, show. isn't that's it? Yeah, show. I'm pretty sure I've heard of that before. Okay. Any idea? Uh, well, I've got a description here if you'd like to hear it, and yes. that could yep. maybe change your opinions. 
Uh, an optimistic young fashion designer is stranded in a dreary town and is determined to breathe new life into their new home. I think it's I'm sure I've show. heard that uh, title I think, somewhere. Yeah, I think it's a title. Or did you just bullshit? I made that up. Did you? Really? I thought that was real. I'm sure that's real. That sounds real. <laughs> Your phone's over there. <laughs> <laughs> Have you Googled it to make sure it's not I'm, real? I'm pretty sure I Googled it. There could be something that sounds similar. Is that me? Oh, that's very good. That's a cool. Yeah, that sounds like a Hallmark film. Yeah. <laughs> Is the main character played by style superstar Carson Presley the good judge? Oh, it should. Well, I was, uh, I was imagining <laughs> it as a. Oh no, what have you found? I googled it. And the immediate top. Is it the Samaritans? <laughs> Get help from a mental health provider. <laughs> 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 HF. Second one. Seven things to do when life feels meaningless. <laughs> a letter to you for when life feels pointless. When life seems pointless. If your life feels meaningless, here's what to do. It's nice to know that your phone thinks you're suicidal. Overcoming meaning. I don't think it's a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm glad we got there. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh. Um, next one. Mr. Smith. Would you like the synopsis? Yes, please. Don't fuck with my little pink thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the synopsis. For the time I've said the tape, he's talking about the kazoo. Yes. <laughs> no. What's the synopsis? What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Um, a talking orangutan becomes a political advisor. Oh, gee, oh, that's... That that's got to be real, hasn't it? That's not real, that's not real. I'm yep. going that's real. No, no it is real. It is real. Yeah! It's got to be American. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Um, in, what, in what capacity does he advise... I don't know. Is he talking to the health sector secretary? Uh, I, we need more than that. <laughs> I didn't really is look into it Trump? too much. Is um, it, was it Trump? Was it actually Trump? <laughs> when you said orangutan. I think this was from the 70s. Oh, um, or maybe 80s. Okay, then. Uh, I can't quite remember. I didn't make too much in notes on it. What are you doing? This is bugging me. I didn't realise it in making noise. I'm sorry. <laughs> For the purpose of the tape, Andy's decided to fuck with his screen protector on his phone in the middle of a podcast. Andy is now a sultana just by an English wall. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> yeah, I've just realised it's a very good job you didn't write Poland underneath, otherwise it would have looked like you were writing <laughs> fuck <laughs> <for> Poland. <laughs> uh, next one? Mm. Yeah. The Sniffer. A man solves crimes with his sense of smell. Not real. Yeah, not real. I don't think it's real. This is a real Aww. Russian, I think it is, uh, TV show. They, they be crazy. Uh, they be crazy. I think it's got either two or three series out at the moment. It's quite oh a new shit. one. Oh shit! We're going to have to have a night of watching these fucking series. You know that. Oh! I watched the first episode of this as well! I've fucking seen this! What a knob, I've seen this! It it feels like someone watched an Indian telenovela and decided it needed the taken treatment. <laughs> it is very taken. I will find you and I will sniff you. you. I thought that was quite a cool idea. <laughs> but then I'm demented. Uh, next one. Good for a book. A Children's show where a group of kids try to be better people in the hope of being rewarded with great riches from a forest guardian. So they're being good for a book. Uh, okay. But there's also the the, the play on words. Like this play on words where the book a yeah. book is money is, is riches. Yeah. That sounds like bullshit. But at the same time, I kind of want it to be real. It sounds a bit like um. Do you know uh four three children in it? Four children in it. Remember that? The, 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 the only thing I can film? think of now that you've said it is Pennywise. Yeah. And no, 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 no. It's, it's uh, there's a weird like creature that's been found on a beach. He's like in a shell. 
and he grants wishes, but you have to be good and then get the wish. Well, so Four children meet, three, three, and it's based in, it's set in World War Two, and obviously their father's away at war, and obviously one of them wishes for the father to come back. Oh, well. But um, he comes back without oh, his legs. Oh, four children <laughs> and it. And it. Oh, I think I, I missed heard this. So I missed and, and you can understand. No, it's because it's not like you said four either. children in it. And it. It sounded like you said four you children in it. Oh, is it, is it in it? Oh, right, okay. Four, oh, right, okay. Four children in it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think no, I've heard correct. that. I've heard that. Think you, you, think, you think it's real? I think, I it's, think real. it's fake. You're very good at detecting my bullshit tonight, Ooh, Andrew. Seven years has good. served you well. It is fake. Very good. Uh, next one. The Happenings of Joanna Coctopus. Archivist Joanna uncovers strange and mysterious legends about their town, uh, about their town that may n not be. Uh, I can't even read what I've written. Ar Archivist Joanna uncovers strange and mysterious legends about their town may not just be rumours to luring gullible tourists. Ooh. I'm immediately calling that bullshit just because, as much as the synopsis is cool, there I can't take off one go. Uh, as much as the synopsis is cool, I really do not think that they would name a show Joanna Coctopus. The happenings of Joanna Coctopus. Yeah, it's the Coctopus part that's not selling yeah. me on it. Is it going to be a porno then, do you think? <laughs> a porno She's just going to the secrets of the men's dicks about yeah. town. Could be a Channel 5. <laughs> like a I Channel don't think 5. it's real. Go on, I'll think it's real. Go on. Is oh, it real? Oh, Sarah. Is it real? Is it oh, not real? Oh, Sarah. <laughs> is it real? You're what? not having much luck with this, are you? I just wanted to say Joanna Cox. <laughs> <laughs> is that the one you said in the kitchen like, yesterday when you were like, you, this is absolutely not real? He didn't tell me what it was. Mm. He said this one is so stupid and it is definitely not real, but I just want to get to say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is sort of his... This isn't real. This is stupid. I need to make a note of it now. The happenings of Joanna Coxtopus. I need you to write that, Phil, for the next series, please. Oh, very well. <laughs> the Furchester Hotel. Real. Real. Not this. Monsters were in a half-star hotel oh, yes, and solved problems. BBC, BBC. Uh, I didn't know it immediately as Sarah did, but I also, I, my immediate thought was yeah. real, as Children, you heard, so I'm going to stick with series? real. It is CBeebies, yeah, yes. Yeah. It's a spin-off of Sesame Street. Oh, okay. Why would I know a CBeebies story? <laughs> you know a children's TV show, Sarah, that's the only one I know. <laughs> <laughs> do do Um, Peppermint Park. Okay, what's the synopsis? Educational show with puppets. Believe that's real? Yeah, and that's why I think it's fake. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> it sounds real, so it's gotta be a lie! <laughs> I'm going fake. Go on, it's real. It is real. Oh, okay. And apparently terrifying. Is it? Oh. oh. That's, a, that's how Halloween episode sort of. Uh, I'll just uh, bring up a picture of Peppermint Park. Okay, yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. What the <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> <coughs> oh. No thanks. Oh. No. <laughs> Why does that puppet look like Andrew Lloyd Webber? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's horrifying. Wow. <laughs> no thanks. Please remove that from the screen immediately. Okay, uh, keeping on. Well, we've got two left. Do you want. Uh, let's just, just do one of them. We'll go with that one. My mother, the car. What's oh, the synopsis? The lead actor's mother is reincarnated as a car from 1928. Uh, fake. I. I believe real. I think it's. I think it's too stupid to be fake. If that makes sense. This is a real show that ran in America yes! for one series. Uh -huh. Oh. Right, okay. And lastly, Bromide Point. Go on. Murder mystery set in the mountains uh, in, in the mountains of rural Washington State. Hmm. I mean, 
Bromide is a poison. It can be used for poisoning, which is why I think it's fake. Mm. No, I, I think, think it's a very clever name, and I think it's fake. I think it's real. Mm. It is fake. Yeah! yeah. Oh, it's a clever name. <laughs> That's a very clever right, name. Yeah, it's a good one. I like that. I thought it was just going to be two bros to approach <laughs> solving mysteries together. Two bros in bro the hot tub. <laughs> that, that would be the Californian version. Ah, yes. Five yes, feet apart is one of them dead. <laughs> yes, that one. Well, well, that took a turn. I don't think we were doing points for that, but... Oh, yeah. I, I think you won. Yay! Yay. Uh, okay, I had a topic for us. Uh, and this can take us up to, to the conclusion of everything of the season. Uh, we have a couple of bits that we want to do uh, before the end, though. Uh, the topic I wanted to bring is one... Let me just get my list up. It's something that I came up with um, yesterday. Should be a relatively quick topic. My my topic for you both. Things that you collected as a kid mm. and brackets, do you still have them? Still. Uh, depends on how far back we're going, but the obvious one is Pokemon cards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I speak for all of us. We probably have all had the quest for those stupid little pieces okay. of card bard at some point. Yeah. I you know Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards? I did. Uh, Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Still got Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Were either of you sad enough to collect Digimon cards? No. I didn't know that was a thing. I had a fair bunch of them and I didn't understand how the fuck they were meant to work. <laughs> <laughs> I assume if it's collectible um, that uh, you will have collected it in some capacity, <laughs> Phil. That's why I was like... At, at what age did you start collecting coins? Uh, that was my, like, early teens. Oh, okay, it's still kind of a kid, then. Um, yeah, uh... And you still collect them, don't you? Uh, I've sort of gone off it now, because I get emails from the Royal Mint and say, This is our new special yeah. thing... Fuck off. Yeah, yeah. We've got a new special sort of amazing thing That's every it. other week now. Yeah, I don't... Yeah. Yeah. You want vintage ones anyway, you don't want new ones, don't you? Yeah, the, the thing that I was mainly concerned about was getting a, a decimal coin from every year. Mm. Uh, so I've, I've done that with... Um, the easiest one to do that with was the half penny, because it didn't exist for very long. Okay, yeah. Um, I've got most of the fives and the tens, which are some of the harder ones, because they were around first, because mm. a 5p was the same as a shilling, yeah. and a 10p was a, a florin or double shilling, and they were initially, like the 5p we have now is a tiny, tiny little circle, yeah. it was much bigger, closer to the size of a 10 or a 2p oh. piece, because that was the size of a shilling was, yeah. uh, and then the 10p was much bigger as well, because it was a bigger coin. Mm. Um, so they were brought in while the old money was still in circulation for a few years to get people used to these new coins. Mm. Those were the first two that came out, 5 and 10p. And then uh, about a decade or so after we'd changed the decimal, um, they'd finally shrunk them down uh, to the sizes that we use today. Yeah. Uh, and then the £2, I haven't really bothered to collect a lot of them. No, the £2 coins. Um, yeah, the £2 yeah. coins. But they've got some very special £2 coins, which are just one metal. They're just golden. Oh, wow. Um, these were like special event coins. Ah, uh, like right, like, okay. One was for like the. Kind of like the um, five pound coin and stuff like that. Yeah, like yeah. the five pound coins. Um, they were about the same size as a two pound coin is still today. Mm. Uh, but they were just all sort of a brassy golden colour. Mm. Um, one that I remember uh, most is um, with a, a sort of football design on it. And I think it was for like oh, was the, for the, the World, World Cup or yeah. the uh, Euros or something like that. In uh, 96? Can't remember. I think it was 96. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, those coins, coins yeah. are pretty and shiny. I mean, you, you collect top trump cards as well. Uh, we've got a fair... Got that was going to be one of mine that I brought <laughs> up, was yeah. that I collected top trumps as a kid. And mm. that those down there are like a collection, like a, a mixture of both ours. Yeah. Because we had some that were the same, so we've got a couple of matching Oh, okay, matching pairs. Because yeah. we have like the same ones in some instances. Oh. Uh, Figurines. One thing is going with figurines. I mean, we've got all the amiibo there. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you collect as an adult, though. Uh, but going to something that started as a figurine collection when I was a child uh, is, is all these dragons that are just scattering oh, the room. Oh yeah, I there, was, there was a point where I was I I would get like multiple dragons a year. Oh nice. Is that my my mum would always give me 
uh, at least something dragon related uh, oh. to like my birthday or something. Oh, no. In fact, <laughs> for the purpose of the date, Phil has left the room to go and retrieve something to show us. I bet he ran Bless me. Did you lose some brain cells there? I think that I might have done that. That came from your toes, that, yeah. did it? it did. Has his a baby dragon. Wow, they're in their eggs and everything. Or in some cases, twins. Ah, oh, that's cool. What a nice setting as well. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Oh, yeah, that's good. Ooh, God, they're ready, aren't they? <laughs> 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 they're weighty little bastards. Sarah, while we're looking at those, do you want to tell, tell us about some stuff that you've got in the Uh Yeah, I had something very similar, but they weren't dragons. They are um, collectible porcelain shoes. Okay. Um, I used to love them. I don't know why. But do you know? To be fair, they were go- They are gorgeous. They're um, they're little ceramic porcelain shoes, and you can get all these different ones. Um, some were high heels, some were trainers, some were stilettos, mm. da da da, and some were bridal ones. And uh, they're all at my mum's and dad's still at the minute. I want to go and get them actually because they are stunning. Some of these shoes. Um, I used to collect those Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I don't collect them now, but I've still got them. Um, I've got a rare uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card, which is a misprint, and it was accidentally printed on the on a um, a card that still had a print of a poker card on it. Oh, okay. So it's got uh, I can't remember what the name of the monster is, but in the background it's like a uh, like a poker card design. Oh. It's very odd. Um, but it's like there's only a few of those. Yeah. Um, what else do we use well, I suppose anime pictures at the time. But I think that's it. I don't really collect. I wasn't a collector. That's fair. I'm a very fickle person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Beano's. Oh, Beano's. Okay. Oh, the the old the, 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 Oh, the magazine. The, the magazine. Oh, okay. The magazine. I've I got, used to have a stack of them. I've still got. I've still got loads in boxes, and I've got obviously all you've seen on my bookshelf. I've got all the annuals. Mum still mm-hmm. buys me an annual every year. And when I used to go to car boot sales, I used to look for them and buy them. I think the oldest annual I've got is like 1950-something. Oh, that is pretty cool. The oldest comic I have is probably 1970-something. Wow. Um, Because I I bought them when I was little, when I was a kid, and obviously people... The Beano is old. It is old. It used to be about an ostrich. It's that old. Uh, (laughs) My my nana used to always get me... The, the Beano, Beano annual, Beano and I used to, to I used to get it weekly yep. in the corner shop. It's shit. Um, <laughs> yeah, once it started getting like more than like a quid, I think it's like one pound, one pound ten was like my yeah. limit. I was like, I'm just not finding this fun anymore because no, it it's just too I much. I used to get it with pocket money, and Mum used to when we used to shop at Morrison's because we're that well off. <laughs> um, back in the day, we used to shop at Morrison's, and I would wait and I'd behave, behave, behave until Mum gave me the fifty p and I could go and get my magazine and I would pay for it when mum's obviously doing all this fucking shopping and then I'm there with me comic <laughs> and me 50p um, and then the, the, the amount started to increase and as I got older they got more expensive and mum yeah. was like we can't spend this every week because we have to budget and whatever when I was a bit younger and obviously paying nearly £2 every week for a freaking comic um, was a lot for a kid for my pocket money so I just stopped doing it but mum still bought me the annuals mm. so I still get the annuals every year I still get them now I'm nearly 30 and I still get them <laughs> what I still read them Dennis and Nash are great and the Bass Street kids well they've got rid of a load of stuff they sold it to an American company oh. and obviously the American it doesn't translate the, the, co- the comedy doesn't translate the animation changed yeah, America's shit. the artist changed so they took Hi, out Chris. they took out um, Roger the Dodger they took out Roger the, took out Roger the Dodger and Billy Wiz. If you remember Billy Wiz, if you I, I love Billy, Billy Wiz. Billy Wiz is oh, great. Just for you I too. was a member I, of the I'm Beano Club. Thank you oh my! Much. Was that like Club Penguin for yeah, millennials? I got I got a T-shirt and um, a newsletter. I'm I'm very jealous right. actually because I never joined the Beano Club. Did you know the Beano Club was? Not all those crap up I've still got my Beano shirt. I've still got it. Given what you've mentioned, I'm going to assume they've got. You didn't get like um, extra privileges to yeah. like you know strip Gold joints membership. and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> it was. You got was, a cat Have you got proof of then? ID? I've got my Beano club card <laughs> number. Like, yeah. Come right in. Twelve year old me <laughs> with your Beano t-shirt. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. I. Ch- I always tried to buy alcohol when I was underage and on holiday by using my lifeguard card. Oh mate. <laughs> oh mate. That was a mistake. That's pretty much the whole story, but you know, just it just reminded me of that then. You what you, think, you are a story. <laughs> um, but no, the the Beano Club is basically a shitter version of a Blue Peter badge. Yes, it is. Yeah, but with Dennis and Nasha. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing with what you've mentioned there. Um, I'm assuming they've probably gotten rid of Mini the Binks as well. I don't know actually. Case. I'd have to double check the the annuals, but they used to have and they phased out. Um, do you remember the oh what were they called the neuro neurons neurodes? Oh, they oh. Were, they lived inside that ki- that bloke. They were you had the all the different sensors. So you had a guy that represented the brain, a guy that represented the nose, guy yeah. that represented the eye and mouth. And they all like basically that. ran this poor kid from the inside. Oh, okay. And it so was it's inside out. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, instead of them being emotions, emotions they, they were parts of the body. Functions, mm, yeah. yeah. I can't, actually, that's something I miss, actually. I miss be, the the excitement of going and getting my Beano. And I, Beano I, I, so I can relate to that. That's not, why I get the Sonic comics every month now. Yeah, I can relate to that, not through Beano, but what I'm going to talk about. I have a couple of things, but the main one I've got prepared. Mm. Uh, so Top Trump Story mentioned I collected. Mm. I did collect Pokemon cards and then I stopped getting them and I think I got rid of all my old ones. I can't remember why. But then I started collecting them again when I went to uni. Ah, right. That was a bad move. It, oh, Because yeah. student, fi- money. student yeah. finance, quite a lot of that went on, went on Pokemon cards. Yeah, yeah. My mum made me get rid of all of them. Aww. Fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> no, your mum's lovely. No, she's not. <laughs> Phil. She's a terrible person who ruined a childhood. <laughs> Okay. Don't put that out on the internet. <laughs> you you know I hold grudges. <laughs> I'm still angry at my sister for losing a fucking Game Boy game. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, I, I've I've always been into card collecting. Me Pokemon. Uh, obviously after I fit, even when I was an adult, after I finished that Pokemon, I got po- really into Magic: The Gathering. Mm. So Pokemon, Which... Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pop Credit, <laughs> Bereavement. <laughs> <laughs> Those, li- th- those little ones you get on um, like bouquets of flowers, he loves going around and nabbing them. <laughs> I'd love to start collecting Magic the Gathering again, but yeah. the main one that I thought of, apart from Top Trumps, that made me think of this topic, is this. Now, you might not know this, Phil probably will. You'll know this, Phil. Battles in time! Yes! Back in the mid noughties when Doctor Who first came back and was a massive thing. Mm. Uh, they started a magazine collection called The Battles in Time, right. which it was, they were four ni- fortnightly, yeah. and each magazine came with a pack or two of trading cards right. that all had different stats and different Ooh, effects, Okay. and I still have my TARDIS full, and wow. I don't know where all my special ones have gone. They might be in my TARDIS. They might be in your because TARDIS, Because yeah. I didn't collect them for very long, and I let you... Sure. You know, I'm gonna go have a look in your TARDIS and see if my special ones are in there. Cause I, I know I had all of my like really rare ones in a. In if we're doing cards, I, I think I've shown you it already, mm. um, many a moon ago. And oh, Jackie Chan. The Jackie Chan yes, adventures, oh and I've God. got all the talismans for yes, that as well. Yes, I remember because we would, uh, in fact, we were talking about it, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, that. That makes me tickle. Oh, Jackie Chan Adventures was such a... That's what I miss. I'm I miss morning cartoons. Morning mm-hmm. cartoons. Oh, I miss morning cartoons. Yeah. What, what did you say about Jackie Chan? I'm surprised you didn't mention the Jackie Chan collection. Oh, we you just did. We, we just have. Oh, okay. I don't know where it is. Neither do I. I used to have them Have you shoved it up a pig? I believe you. But oh. there were ones that, like, um... It's like, these were all the common ones were just, like... You know, your normal, mm, mm-hmm. non rares they all had different stats, yeah. and you battled them, kind of like top trumps in a way. Okay. So, like, they had red and green stats, green were attacking stats, and red were defending stats. So, mm. like, whenever an, an opponent made a turn, mm. they'd use their green stat, and you had to see if your red stat was higher or lower. Right, okay. Basically. Yeah. And then there were, like, um, status cards that, like, added bonuses to stuff. Yeah, like, so, like you know, they, they that, boosted, yeah. like, stats or whatever. Uh, but the, I remember there were common, which is just like those ones. Mm. There were rare ones, which were shiny. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then super rare had like a um, 
I think it's called a hollow effect, so like okay. holographic, yeah, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, you know, shiny but wavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I remember like, the very first Super Rare I think I got was like the Emperor Dalek. And oh, I remember, okay. I remember being really excited because that was like one of the best cards when the wow. game first started. Yeah. And then Ultra Rares had a, um, what you call, I think that's also called holographic, it's like, you know where there's like a textured, like a thick textured yeah. plastic over it, and then and you, you tilted the and card it and the image changes. The yeah. yeah. Ultra rares were that, uh-huh. and I remember in the first set the ones like uh, the TARDIS was one, yeah. like it, and the picture was the TARDIS, and then the TARDIS with its core open. Yeah. Uh, Regeneration, I think, was one. Uh, the Slovene taking its skin suit off was okay. one. Yeah. Uh, and it was just a, a collection game, but obviously as a kid, and even still now, I fucking love do Doctor they, Who. Do so like, make, do they still make them? Do they? No, no, no. They stopped after issue seventy-two, if oh, I remember wow, rightly. Okay. Uh, so it ran for a fair bit. It stopped around the time that the Moffat era started. Right. Okay. Uh, because it was like. Um, Thanks, Stephen. I know. I think they started another one with the Moffat era. I can't remember. I know another one existed, but by that point, Mum and Dad didn't want to get us them anymore because we were growing up. Right. Okay. Uh, but I remember for like. And good, look where you are now. A good like five years or so, it was like me and my sister both collected them. Yeah. Uh, it was very very fun. Oh, uh, I cool. all the magazines are still at my parents, if I remember yeah. rightly. Uh, but they were all sorts of, uh, of good cards. You have to get some like special cases uh, for them. I remember there was always like a bit of excitement whenever a new series would air because it meant yeah. that a new set of the cards would be coming oh, out. Oh, cool. Because the cards were all, I think there were five yeah. sets in total and each one was themed around a different set. No. Yeah, yeah, it was five. Mm. There were two sets set around the first two seasons because mm. I think the, I think it started around 2006 Mm-hmm. So they had to incorporate the first two seasons into the first set. Mm. Then uh, the second set was mostly series two with bits of series three. The third set was all series three. Mm. The fourth set was all classics. So like classics. So like this card was from the. Oh, uh, okay. Or that yeah. one was from like, the classic mean. set. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, so and it even told you what Doctor faced mm-hmm. them and stuff like that. Oh, the Turbulent. Yes, that'll be a fifth Doctor one. And then the final set was for series four, so that was like the Donna series. Mm. Um, Donna, Donna, Donna. Yes, Donna, Donna, Donna. Uh, but yeah, it was very fun and very cool. And part of me misses the excitement of being a kid and being like, oh, I get to get my issue today. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'd always do that thing. I don't know if you've ever done this when you're collecting cards, like mm. packs of cards, but I'd always do that thing where I feel, I tried to feel around the packet to see which ones had more cards in right, them. Okay, or like yeah. if any of them had like... Cause, Hard cards. Cause, no, yeah. Well, yeah, because the, the ultra rares were one. thicker, usually yeah. you, you could sometimes tell. Yeah. Um, although I think they've kind of made it harder after the, the thing first started. But yeah, yeah, that was very fun. That, I remember that being the main thing I collected as a kid. Mm. Speaking of that, one thing that I, I, I did a few years ago to try and rekindle my youth in that vein was the Rogue One collector's cards. It was basically... Oh, I think I vaguely remember this. Yeah, the, the album's in the back room, but they did... And they did a fair amount of cards for this. But, um, like you'd get, like, well, collectible cards for anything, or more more akin to a sticker album. Mm, okay. Uh, but it was cards. And it wasn't like trading cards that you could use to battle. It was just cards with pictures of all the characters and maybe a description or different effects on them. And it... Each character must have had about 50 freaking cards, because it's all based on this one film. Right, yeah, yes. So you had uh, cards for all of the good guys, all of the bad guys, all the different variations of Stormtroopers, um, multiple different cards for Darth Vader and all the different starships and all all those sort of things. And there was also these wonderful ones, which were sort of like uh, collage, mosaic sort of ones, where you'd need nine cards and if you put them all together right. in a big sort of square they'd make a larger image so, so exodia e- e- ah, so like cool. each each one yeah like exodia each one was a segment of this yeah. larger sort of mural it was like it's quite cool that's cool and then there was one which were stickers yeah. like the cards actually had stickers on them that you could take off it was oh, like okay. kind of cool yeah, yeah. and then there was also glow in the dark ones oh yes Glow in the dark. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Being I a kid and getting anything glow in the dark is the bomb. It's, so it's, it's, it's quite frankly the, the shit. <laughs> well, um, oddly enough, uh, when he was mentioning that, I thought back to not only that with the Star Wars card things, but just sticker albums in general. 
dick I, really, I was never a stupid I had, person. I had and got into a few fights on the playground. Uh, not physical fights, which is like people being stuffy about what they would and wouldn't trade okay. uh, for Pokemon stickers. Right. Don't you remember the, the sticker economy of primary <laughs> school? <laughs> and Stick- got up with inflation. <laughs> the one thing I'm a li- Charizard is worth three Pikachus. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm a little annoyed that it, it's technically completed. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's really not. It's, it's missing. Rushed. It's missing about three stickers <laughs> in total. Uh, is my Premier League 1996 to 1997 FA Cup sticker book. Phil, I don't what? even know you anymore. You've what? never sounded straighter. What the I, fuck? I know. I know. Um, this was back in the time when I actually followed football when I when I was like a really young kid. I don't know who you are. Being from a football following family, ah, as a small child, I got indoctrinated. Right. Who is um, <laughs> he doesn't uh, remember. It it went back and forth, but with my dad's influence, eventually Newcastle. Okay. Uh, for a lot of the time the stripes are very slim. Sunderland as well uh, <laughs> mainly to piss off my dad uh, because they're the main rivals yeah but also we lived in fucking Sunderland yeah so why not so it's like yeah red and white then he's your brother who supports Chelsea or did I don't think he does anymore uh, I know her uh, uh, well uh, she needs all the support she I can get I knew a girl once <laughs> whose actual name was Chelsea Shirt Goodness, Her actual name, that's, last name was that's Shirt. That's almost as good as Mia Kettles, <laughs> who Mia is a Kettles. real person. Oh, I like that. I actually do really miss the feeling of opening a yeah. pack of cards. Yeah. Like, oh that's God. the closest I ever got to gambling. <laughs> was, yeah. like, ca- pa- like, card collections mm. are definitely like my, my Achilles Crap. heel. Because normally, mm. I don't, I'm, not in, I'm not a gambler, I don't agree if you do it that's fine you do you but it's not for me at all mm. i don't see why you'd use your money on something that has no guaranteed return mm. at least when you or as pokemon cards, cards at least you do get something if you buy well, pokemon cards. Yeah. Like, yeah crazy bones Did some you of it do that? some of it paid oh. off. i have a charizard card not the charizard card yeah. but i do i remember when i first started collecting them again around the time that generation six was happening I got a Charizard card that at the time was worth about 60 quid. Oh wow, nice. Uh, and I got, I remember, this is why I got hooked. I remember the very first pack of Pokemon cards I bought as an, I was 17, this is like with my own money, I was 17. <laughs> so that's Sorry, I, know, that's I nice. accidentally lobbed a comb at Sarah. <laughs> this was literally right after I got with you. Don't bring me into this. Uh, I bought, I think it was four packs uh, of just whatever, I think it was um, game at Meadowhall had in, and one of them was a Gen 5 pack. I opened it, and it was one of the very first packs I ever opened after years of not having Pokemon cards, and I got a secret rare golden Zekrom. Oh, I remember that I one, I still yes. have that card in a binder down there, and it got me hooked again. Yeah. And for, like, a good what? But, yeah, card collections are, like, my Achilles heel when yeah. it comes to stuff like that. And I do kind of miss that. I really want to start collecting Magic the Gathering again, because mm. it's a really fun game. Telling you, get yourself an only fan. Do some, do some cleavage shots. Do some, okay. do some cleavage shots. What are you trying to say? Or, or do some book cleavage Cheeky. shots. Cheeky. Book, book, <laughs> book, book cleavage. Or, uh, you know, you can always branch out with uh, a magic axe and fart out of your finger. <laughs> I'd pay to uh, see that. Anyway, since this episode's already been going on quite a while, let's let's bring it to the uh, the final things that we want to do for this season. So, this is something that I want to do for. A little while. I had this idea months ago for when we got to the final episode of this series. What are everyone's favourite moments of series one of We Pay for Your Flow? And feel free to comment yours in the in the comments. Mm. Any people who are actually listening to this. Mm. Uh, but yes, what are your favourite moments of the series? Um, going right back, one of the first <laughs> moments that really tickled me was. Do you mind? We're I recording! Record. We're, We're trying, trying to, to make dumplings! dumplings. <laughs> that's, a so- that's a sorted reference. <laughs> um, don't make me the pea power ranger. <laughs> <laughs> because even though the audio quality was even shitter back then, if you could believe it, yeah. um, it was just like barely 
it's like listening to static on a potato <laughs> which I'm amazed we you know, even got anyone wanting to listen outside of ourselves um, but just that one moment from you in episode three yeah uh, episode, episode three, three oh, because sure. then the very following episode mike did the uh the power ranger fan art for us oh, that we yeah. used in the intros that was great that, that was, was that was wonderful cool. that was awesome uh, so yeah that that one always makes me chuckle mm. i will um, say i think one thing that was really nice about that moment is because it was in the first ever recording session we did mm. if you remember we recorded four episodes in our first block oh, did we? fun production fact for you guys listening we record a batch of On these batch. in a in a row yeah. so that we don't have to come down and record every week so we make it so it fits around our schedule yeah so we're sort of peeking behind the curtain here this is why some references don't seem very timely <laughs> by the time the episode goes out like in the last episode no no episode 19 which went up at the end of august i spoke i spoke about breaking my nose which happened like two months before oh yeah uh, because of the way that we'd had like your birthday and yeah. other things yeah the schedule got because in around. the episode i said it was recorded on the 18th of june and it only went out at the end uh, like around the end of august i did i did like the power intro episode that yeah that one was very that, good that was good that, oh that's what i was gonna say because that was in our first recording block that was one of the first moments that made me go this is gonna be fun yeah yeah oh that's good. was just your meek going oh please don't make me the feet power <laughs> ranger <laughs> Another one that I really like, which again is, is Sarah. I think um, a lot of these are going to be Sarah. A lot of these are probably going to be Sarah. Uh, in fact, uh, this one is very co- recent from the, what the, I just saw. Uh, I'm, I'm not going in any particular oh, okay. order uh, because fuck you. Um, <laughs> from, the, Love. from the very next episode was splitting Pingu in half. Oh, and, and then the leaving fucking... half of Pingu just splashing around in his own piss as the other half decided to hop off to town <laughs> from the new your own adventure in episode four, which we will finish at some point. I know what we're going to do for it, decided, provided that, you know... Oh, shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> we had shit. But for, for a little Not while. Pingu. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, yeah, I got it now. I remember <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because we split him in half down the middle yeah. and I think your half was just rolling around in his own pit. Yeah. And then you decided, fuck this, I'm going out. <laughs> that, that was good. I think that's, uh, that sums up this Our relationship. This, yeah. this friendship. <laughs> a pingu, half a pingu flopping around in a so cool of piss. Uh, anybody else want to interject or should I just go through just my go list? Through yours. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, a bit more recent. Sarah again. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I've tried to be nice to you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Um, now this was me just trying to do one of our own little silly in jokes. Oh, well that was fun. Is anyone for Chinese? <laughs> for Sarah Chinese. completely misunder- misheard this. Is anyone for Chinese? That is not um, as funny as we thought it was. It, the it day. killed us for like it five, ten us. minutes straight. <laughs> I had to cut out a fair bit of the laughing of that freaking episode because <laughs> we were just on Did the you floor. Cut some out? I had to cut some out of oh that because that went on for like another five minutes. It was just <laughs> giggling, calming down, and then it be, it another, and then another wave. And the Chinese again, and we break again. Oh man. I love the um, another. Another moment. This, this is this is one that I'm particularly proud of of myself in the edit bay, um, and what partly made me really enjoy your celebrity name games. One of them was Bruce Wimbledon because what the <laughs> fuck was that, Sarah? <laughs> I'm just saying, it's an event I would pay to see. <laughs> so if someone wants to make that happen. I would be your first in line. <laughs> but my favourite from that first celebrity name game, just for the way that I animated his mouth Bruce unhinging Drillis, yeah. really yes! shittily, and then yes. a drill falling out of his oh, mouth. Those edits are the best. They're the only reason I watch that, them, to that, be honest. <laughs> that, that's the thing that made me fucking die while I was there. And that, I knew what I was doing and I knew what was happening, but just seeing it come together to, it's fucking ridiculous. There's a drill coming out of his mouth and it's Bruce yes. Drillis. Is it? I'm a child. That was the best. <laughs> that was the best. That, that one really made me happy. 
The only thing that I think has come close to that uh, with the other ones is um, Jude Raw, where yeah. Gordon Ramsay yes. blobs Jude Law across that the room. Was wonderfully and done. for some reason, Mary Ferry. And I just stuck, <laughs> just stuck her face I just on stuck her fairy. head on. Uh, from, uh, anybody know which ferry that was? Yeah, it is the Tall Point ferry that connects Tall Point to Plymouth. Oh, fun! Ah. Used to go on that every summer. Oh, very nice. Um, <laughs> she says, without a care in the world. <laughs> your 25th birthday. Just that Aww. entire episode. Oh, that, that was, was a really good nice episode. One. I that, enjoyed that. That one was good. Just seeing your face. And yeah. you almost break down crying. Yay! Aww. It was fun. That was, it was a nice fun. episode. I like to see you cry. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Love. Love. Um, Sarah's flag of Poland. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just saying, it was slightly more accurate than yours. <laughs> so, something which, surprisingly, you didn't have any trouble with during the flags. But has caused issue in the past. Horizontal and vertical. <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> oh which my was God. horizontal? Well, we had to teach I, you. Do you know what? It really I, helps, though. The hor- horizon horizontal. That right helped me. That, I, that I was great. genuinely got worried when we were doing the flag <laughs> game, and it said, <laughs> and, and the instruction said horizontal lines. I was like, oh sh- <laughs> shit. How do I explain this to Sarah? As long as I don't have to do fractions, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well. Flag game round two oh, for the next shit. series. Don't give me fractions. <laughs> you have to colour in this or percentage of the square. No. Well, so technically, I can do the percentage of that. It's just figuring out the percentage off that. You get me? You with me? Does it make sense? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you understanding? So moving you on. Picking up what you're putting down and throwing it away. <laughs> I'm throwing it at me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, lastly on my list, uh, quite a recent one. Wanky Leonard. Yeah. <laughs> wanky Leonard. Poor Wanky Leonard. Leonard. <laughs> oh. Imagine being known as Wanky Leonard. Oh, oh God. Just for, particularly for the look on your face when you heard the story, <gasps> and then when you saw the picture of the poor boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The poor unfortunate soul. Oh. Sarah. I have lots of moments. I always enjoy your celebrity name games. Always. And I always, 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 when Phil does it, I look enjoy. forward to Phil's editing. Oh my yeah. god, I look forward to Phil's editing. The last one, which was, um, uh, what's Joanna, Joanna Lumley. Lumley. Joanna Lumley. They were great. It was so funny. There I was think one... my first of it was Croanna Lumley. Yeah, oh yes. When it's just, it's the simplicity of just getting her head and sticking it on something. Uh, yeah. It's just it doesn't need to be well done. It doesn't need to be artistically done. Just seeing it her head isn't. on something <laughs> and I'm just like, yes. From that one I really like the Doanna Lumley. Just uh, yes. her face faintly within this <laughs> sort of bread. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best and the um when I saw you the one where you edited um the, what you were just saying what's his name um, Bruce Willis Bruce no 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 uh, the, the chef Gordon Ramsay, Gordon Ramsay. throwing Jude, Jude Law. Law across the kitchen I died <laughs> so funny so funny I love your editing That they do make me laugh um, yeah and I think the games uh, obviously uh, Wanky Leonard <laughs> <laughs> um, I did actually really enjoy your first episode that, that was one was really fun. fun that was a good one um, I don't know. I enjoy every one, every one that we do. I think, obviously, some are better than others, but I still enjoy every single one that we do. I think every, everyone seems to have a moment. I always either pee myself <laughs> or end up with a headache because I've laughed that much whenever I come down to record them. That, for some reason, one that's just come to mind now was your um, interesting books. Oh, the interesting that was on my books. list, uh, and the one with. Um, for, for some reason, Shirley Bassey ended up making an appearance on like the Lord of the Rings cover because you thought <gasps> yes! Legolas looked like yeah yeah, that, and yeah, you, you completely got the one. wrong person. Yeah, I don't know. I'm really bad at <laughs> really bad at being. <laughs> <laughs> we know. Oh. I love how educated I am now compared to the first episode. I now know horizontal and vertical. I now know how not to do <laughs> that's on my list the look on your face when you were 
so thrilled about thinking you'd done percentages and then fill the next recording session going, no, you didn't. <laughs> well, it wasn't even that. I you didn't I, even tell me. I you didn't told even, me. I didn't even tell her. No. All I did was put it in a very small print along the bottom of the screen when the episode went out. It was like, I didn't have the heart to tell her that's not how you calculate percentages. <laughs> No, I love your editing. I think it's the. I think it, you can have something really funny, but if you've got a really good editor that's good at highlighting those really funny bits, which you do really well, those 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 tend to be my favourite bits. Um, the land before Phil. That, <laughs> made me that proper made me chuckle. But like literally, you know when you don't expect it, you go. Ha! <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, oh. the best. Yeah, your editor. Uh, so for my list, I've mainly gone for just specific moments rather than just full-on episodes. Yeah. Uh, I'll avoid the ones that have already been mentioned, so I'll take P Power Ranger off because that was great. Uh, so in just the order that I've got, uh, mining for Freddos. Yes. I really like our yeah. rant about the price of Freddos. Because okay. that, that was supposed to be again oh, a, 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 a okay. topic at the beginning that we're not supposed to talk about that we <laughs> that we, we actually ended up talking with. about. Yeah. Uh, so that was the first time that we did that as yeah. well, wasn't it? We we completely broke the rules. It's like we're gonna say a topic, we don't talk about this topic, <laughs> and then we talk about any other thing that we've got planned. Is that like, no, no, no? Freddos need to be talked <laughs> about. <laughs> the people need to know. The people need to know. Um. Sarah's books we've mentioned. Yes. Um, <laughs> this is one of my favourite moments, and I don't even think you noticed it. It was just a typo that Phil made oh. in an episode, but it had me cackling. Oh. It's Ed Sheeran. <laughs> in the episode where we discussed Phil's sorry about Ed Sheeran, and at the yes, end he know. called him Ed Sheeran, and I noticed it. <laughs> reason I couldn't stop crying. So not only do you not know who the fuck this man is, you've misspelled his name. In fact, I remember saying that. Didn't I, I, I say that? I think maybe, yeah. yeah. Ed Sheeran. Ed that that Sheeran, really got so me. Funny. Um, that was a good moment. In that same actually. episode, and, I, this, and, <laughs> and it's on the internet now moment. as well, so I can't escape <laughs> it. <laughs> that was in, so in, funny. in the same episode, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, for some reason this tickled me listening to it about my rant about ACDC, <laughs> where I just went in on them. But <laughs> 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 oh, shit, I think they are. Rants are the best. Rants are the oh. best. I did, I did enjoy your story about Ed Sheeran though. That was mm. so fucking funny. Do you know who I am? No. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> no. Have a good day. Um, Phil's editing in the Overwatch episode specifically for Observe the Barrier and Simba. Yes. yes. They, <laughs> See, they I didn't clever. want to mention Overwatch because I thought you would have things to say uh, on yeah. that. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. Um, oops, let me unlock my thing. My favourite instance, because for those of you who don't know, we don't come up with the title usually until around editing, when we, uh, when Phil's listened through it all and we know exactly what's been mentioned and any funny lines that come up. But you might have noticed that occasionally there's some moments in an episode where someone says something and we all go, that's the title. <laughs> and this, I think, was the first instance of it, and it's one of my favourite moments still from the entire series and it was Sarah it going it was Sarah going uh, I said oh. Baron because we were talking about Sarah's vagina oh, yeah. so I said <laughs> Baron and she said a childless like my Chris <laughs> and for some reason I fucking died what are we talking about Chris flavors yeah, yeah oh yeah oh, yeah yeah it just it absolutely killed me it, it, I think that was the first moment of one of us going, well, that's the title, <laughs> and of course it was. Um, and on the same veins of Sarah, uh, the, the corduroy rants. I fucking <laughs> <laughs> I fucking the don't. floor is yours. Oh, <laughs> no, I fucking hate The corduroy. thing is, I, I remember about that. I remember the first time because okay, another production fact for you. We've we recorded a couple of episodes. We did three episodes before. Episode one oh actually God, went funny. out, and we couldn't but use them. The, we, the you think yeah. the audio quality on episode one is bad? Mm -hmm. uh, one through four were of the first official recording block that we did, and they're bad because of the way that we had everything set up and it was going through the laptop and mm. the laptop didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, we, dis we discovered that like for uh, some reason mic. the laptop didn't want to use the microphones that we have. It mm. was very weird. Mm. Um, which is weird because 
I think it's just this splitter that we have the two the, the mics plugged into because a mic on its own in the laptop works fine mm. uh, but this um, sort of splitter unit thingy no doesn't like it um, but the audio for those original three which I do um, still have yeah and I might try and pull because because that has the original corduroy range <laughs> where you go on for like 25 minutes that's what minutes. I was going to mention <laughs> we, th th what I was going to get to was in those initial episodes that never went out because the audio was just un unlistenable un yeah. s that's when we first discovered Sarah's absolute detestation of corduroy because she ranted if I remember rightly about the wind Cordial. sprouts Brussels sprouts and corduroy, and, corduroy. Yeah. and it was okay. so funny because Sarah corduroy. just went off about <laughs> her hatred of corduroy and we'd never heard this before and we were creased I remember so I specifically really planted something in I think it was our second recording batch just to see if I could get a reaction and I was delighted to see that I got just as much of a reaction <laughs> the second time around so it was just as funny because oh, yeah. Sarah just went off on one again uh, yeah, the corduroy ran. Um, all of the birds in episode oh, 19. The birds! When, Phil, when Phil gave us a new story and we just ran with it and ruined it by yes. listing off every single species of avian imaginable. That's my favourite one. Uh, that is my favourite one because the audio carries on after the end credits. Because yeah. Because we're laughing our head off. I think, my favorite, I think my favourite apart from you just out of nowhere as Phil's trying to get us back on track going GOOSE! <laughs> my other favourite bit was my delayed reaction to you saying pterodactyl! <laughs> it took me about five seconds and you're going off on another one and then you just hear me in the background go Did you just hear pterodactyl? <laughs> <laughs> that was so funny. Oh. Was so funny. Uh, I also really liked um, your guys' reaction to when I, I can't remember who said it. It might have been Sarah, but when one of us first said, "How great would Moses be as a lifeguard?" Oh. Yeah, that was good. That's just the truth. Yeah, that is. <laughs> uh, I, my real or fake films game was probably my yes, favorite game of the series. That. I, I loved that. that. that I particularly liked how much director. you guys thought some of the ones I'd made up with could be real, yeah. and especially your mispronunciation of "nun and the caravan," which is <laughs> the van and the cara nun. <laughs> uh, I also put. This is just a general one. The many instances of Sarah not knowing basic stuff. <laughs> You're a special individual indeed. <laughs> Goose. Goose. Oh, nah. that was one. The, um, the, I can't remember which episode it is in, but there's one moment where you just lean into the mic and go, Moth. <laughs> and that really yeah, got me. That was that that was uh, I think that was Cassie Bird talk or Moses. No, would no, be, it wasn't Cassie or, Bird. Or Moses talk. would be a great lifeguard. It was one of those, I think. Oh, we'll have to listen to them all back. <laughs> you alright? I think that actually might have been my it's no the, again, I think it's down to the editing because you left it all at the end where you're just going, No, I need to fucking end this episode. <laughs> yeah. But Andy and I are going, ah! I love the fact that put like the the, the uh the just the, the static yeah, over the it. static yeah. like error screen as I well. Like that. that was so well done. It's like we're done. We're done. Um, but uh, we we can't go because they're still here. It's like it's like the the, the fucking bartender's like Come on, I need to lock up. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got homes to where, go to? And where did you see going? Albatross! <laughs> Just booby. Booby. Blue Finch! Uh, and the last one I'll mention, and I'll leave it to the end because it hasn't actually happened yet. Fun production fact, this isn't the last episode we're recording. We've got one more to record, but you'll hear that before this. Mm. Uh, even though it hasn't happened yet, I Wibbly have a wobbly. feeling that we're going to get a kick out of Phil's birthday yes, one. Yes, I'm looking forward to that one. When he realises what we've done. Yes. Yeah, uh, just peering behind the curtain again, uh, we're recording this on the 15th of September? Yes. Yes. Uh, so this is going to be going out in a couple of weeks' time. Mm -hmm. uh, but we've already recorded every other episode apart from my birthday one. Mm. Because Phil's birthday is until the 29th, and we want to record it on the day. Yeah. So yeah, th that one's going to be recorded on the 29th. And go out and uh, the same and week. And then it'll, it'll go out on the fifth, on the fifth of October, because mm. it'll be the following Tuesday. Yes, the uh, the Alberti one will go out the Tuesday after it's recorded. As is tradition. As is tradition. Yeah. Yes. 
Uh, so yeah, that's, I think that's it for everyone's favourite moments. Uh, Phil, this has been going on a while. Do you want to give us a quick news story to round off the series, please? Yay! A quick I, I, I feel thing. like it wouldn't be We Pay For Your Floor series finale without one of your news stories, which might be my favourite recurring segment. I'm glad we started making that a thing. Oh, I missed one! Oh. It's related to Phil's news thing, though. I can't I believe we've got it. this. The sad, lonely toilet of Drumcliff. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> that was one <laughs> that of my favourites. So yeah, that was such a good news oh, story. Wow. That yeah. one, and when we had Lizzie on. I mean, we've had. Yeah, Lizzie was great, yeah. actually. Yeah. Well, I mean, we, apart from the technical issues that we had when Matt was on for the gay episode. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, Every time that we've had a guest, it's been fun. Mm, yeah, uh, it's e- even just Chris walking up yeah, in the corner yeah, 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 uh, yeah. in one of the early episodes. But well, Chris will be guesting on your birthday one, I think. Well, I think so, yeah. Oh, really? I actually tell him that Chris was coming because yeah. he was like, I don't want people coming over. And I was like, look, it's just going to be me, Sarah and Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be just me and Chris. We'll what play a risk. Use? We'll play a risk. It'll be thing? great. Yeah. Um, I need to find it. My Note for Phil. Oh, Alarm for what time? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why did you get that? Video? Right. Oh, right. No. No. This was something that I was meant to mention earlier. Um, that after we'd done the recording yesterday for what was fucking episode twenty-three. Yes. With the flags. Yes. Um. Andrew was asking where Rutland was yes, because it's the video. S- yes. a small, uh, the smallest county in mm-hmm. England. Mm-hmm. So I asked Alexa, mm. "Where's? Don't you fucking Ale- stop?" He asked Gertrude. I asked that bin who's flashing her blue light at me. Um, oh, no, where's Rutland? Yeah. For some reason, she didn't like how I was saying things. And she played Wind Your Bobbin Up. Understood him perfectly fine from across the room, though. The video of pure silence, because you're like... So it was just, out of her, it was just, Wind Your Bobbin Up, Wind Your... And I got flashbacks, and I said, what the fuck is this? And I was just like, fuck, I'm back in primary school. What is this? <laughs> oh, that, that, was, that was just something that... and. Um, this will already have gone out now, mm. but that is why there is a scheduled tweet that went out at like ten past one in the yes. morning on the twenty first, twenty second of August of September. That's why a, a scheduled tweet went out linking to just that song on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. Um your story, An- another sir. peek behind the curtain. Eh? <laughs> um, so, finishing off with our final little news headline uh, well, of, of the, the of the series, uh, and I decided to go back to our good old friend Adrian. Oh, of okay. Course. Wow. Hot summer nights. My brother brought friends to blank. Orgasm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it's actually that. Adrian Charles can't bring anyone to orgasm. Um, <coughs> you leave old Ade alone. Um, the hot summer night, brother brought friends to blank. Yes. My Climax. <laughs> it's the same thing. No, no, Edge. no, no. Completion. Yeah, but I get more points you, on a Scrabble board. You, you're just always. naming different nightclubs now, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Nude beach. If, if you like, I can give you a little bit more. Your mother's house. Uh, my brother brought friends to Marvel apps. Nude beach. <laughs> my mother's nude beach. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear the sea? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are talking about your vagina. Yay! Finally. <laughs> Is it not nude beach? Hot summer night. My brother brought friends to marvel at the awful state of my body. <laughs> so a nude beach, right? We're yeah, there. Okay, then. Yeah. <laughs> wow, those are real friends. Oh, those are real friends. That turn up and go. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, so, fuck. 
sort and then your like, shit out. I didn't necessarily say they were laughing, just to marvel at the <laughs> awful state. She's like, wow. Oh. Well, I've never seen a walk that big. So that's. That's not natural, is it? <laughs> Does it wobble? <laughs> Does they it, need some scaffolding in there. Does it speak? <laughs> How many fingers can it know? <laughs> and that is going to bring us to the end of this episode. And indeed, this series, series Yay. one of the We Pay For Your Fall podcast. Thank you very much to Sarah for being here. Uneducated. For being uneducated. And in contact with the world. And providing so much hilarity. on a daily basis. <laughs> Thank you to Phil for being a phenomenal editor. Absolutely. Thank you to me for keeping everything in fucking order <laughs> and actually organising. From, from people organising fucking hordes. Organising when stuff happens and what happens in each episode because someone's got to keep you two in check. And, and keeping us PC almost. Not yeah, really, still, and making yeah. sure that you don't get us cancelled. Yeah. Um, and also, just thank you to you, the listeners, the mm. two of you out there <laughs> who have made this. Thanks, thanks, Mike. Mike. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Thanks, Mum. No, no, Mike says I look dodgy. Is it Mike that says I look dodgy? I mean... I mean <laughs> is it Mike that says yeah. I look dodgy? Yeah. Yeah, well, he can go fuck himself. <laughs> you can't actually, Mike, you're great. Uh, also, Will, Will listens to us, and thank you, Will. Uh, yeah, just thank you for making this really fun to do. We have fun anyway, but it's mm. nice knowing that there are some people out there who enjoy listening to Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, uh, Let's not make assumptions. We don't know if they enjoy listening to us. <laughs> Forced to buy um, us. We're not going to be gone for too long. It's just going to be like rough, like maybe a month or so with that. Just to give Phil a bit of a chance to have a break because bless him, he's edited like an episode, nearly an episode a week, mm. every week for... Or, no, an episode a week, almost every week yes. since the end of March. That's so amazing. let's give him a bit of a break, but Phil really wants us to come back for a Halloween episode. We don't know when that'll be up. But it should be happening. Um, New Year's Eve. <laughs> okay, yeah. but we should be back <laughs> in the next in the next month or so. Uh, and yeah, thank you for sticking around. Thank you for listening to all of this. And yeah, for the last time. Uh, yeah, until uh, until the next. <laughs> Are you episode, gonna say yeah anymore? Until right? the next episode, we will see yeah. you later. See you later. Yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna go home for a little bit. Um, I shall endeavour to be the best neighbour as I always am. You're not allowed down here until we're recording again. That's cool. it. You're awesome. banished. Yeah, I'll send No, you're not. That'd be great. You're not. Oh, right. Anyway, what are you gonna? You're gonna go upstairs and sorry. I'll be the best neighbour that I w- uh, always am. You'd better okay. because, because for the last time in this series, <laughs> we pay, pay for your, your floor. <laughs>